Girl, what the hell is you doing? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Sensational, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. A whole lot different we are going to be doing a rags to riches challenge here on skyrim i never really do a rags to riches on anything never even did it on the sims but i just felt like skyrim is the perfect place to start off a rags to riches now i don't remember the name of my character i kid you not like i don't remember her name um and i'll probably remember it th by the next part but this is our character lord i I just don't remember her name, okay? Don't judge me. This is our character, and right now she is a beggar in Riften. Uh, she lost her family at a very young age and grew up in Riften, and all she knows is the streets. Um, so she for the streets, not that kind of way, but um, all she knows is the streets, and uh, she doesn't really interact much she has never left riften she's been here all her life and she was raised here she grew up at the orphanage but the lady at the orphanage was very mean to her so she ended up running away and she met up with a friend who lives here in beggars row and this is where she ended up living and this is where she has been for many many years and so now she's realizing that you know things are a little bit harder for her and she's now deciding that you know what I think it's time that I get the hell out of here, that I get out of Riften, because Riften is, it's cold, it's dangerous, there's lots of robbers and thieves and stuff around, and she's just starting to realize that it is not the kind of place that she wants to be, so technically right now she is just at a state where she's going to be um, looking for other ways to get out of the town because uh, honestly like i said riften isn't really the safest place for us to be living and all of that stuff so right now we have um we're in riften here just kind of going around the city trying to find things to do who is this guy he looks interesting never mind is it because i look like a beggar i'm gonna beg why would I ridicule you? Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that had been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother's stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. What sort of lies has Ulfric been spreading? Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos and uses it as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. Well... I I better get going too. I'm not gonna try and um intervene in what y'all got going on. Um uh, we need to get some money so that we can have some weapons and stuff like that. So technically my first thing that I wanna do is kind of have her go around collecting stuff, um, harvesting some stuff, and trying to see where we can get in terms of money. Because right now, going around and asking people for a dollar isn't, or septum rather, isn't really helping the cause. The cause here is us trying to do it the normal, legal way. But um, I don't know why she's trying to be legal now, because she grew up stealing pumpkins and stealing stuff from people's farms. But now she's realizing that she really needs to get out of Riften because uh, with the impending doom, with the impending doom, you know, it's just a sack of wheat flour. Oh, this was just lying there. Salt pile. We're trying as much as possible not to steal stuff um, because she doesn't want to have that kind of a... She doesn't want to have that kind of a reputation. I'm going to take this... Um, fishing pole has just been lying around here and uh we're gonna go ahead and harvest this salmon it's also just chilling out here let's get this 
Blue Mountain Flower. We'll try to find people that will be willing to buy some of the things that we're harvesting around because, um, yeah, we really, really, really need that money. I've never really tried um, fishing, so I don't really know. So this is a fishing pole. So how do I... How do I use the fishing pole? The, apparently the fishing pole is clutter. If I want fish, I gotta go in the water and get it. But with frost fall on and everything, we are definitely going to... Um, ooh, I can sit there. Cool. We are definitely going to have to do some things. I have some problems with my load order. So this little house that I was planning to use as a way and means of storing stuff while I'm in a rift in just won't work um we're gonna have to try and be very careful out here in these hair parts because there are wolves around here and it would be quite a shame to just die as soon as we get out here so um there is a knapsack i think here with some books and a silver ring uh which is stuff that i want to sell And there is also a farmer here that I'd very much like to ask her if I can harvest her crops so that I can kind of sell that and get some money. And it's not going to be the most, but, um, Fine. Walk. Honest pay for honest work. Really? So I just told her that I harvested some, um, some Please. cabbage, some cabbage. Okay. Justice one. She gave us three septums. Thank you so much. God will bless you. She gave us three septums and she also paid us for harvesting stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. I didn't really harvest anything. I just kind of lied and she was like, oh, let me pay you, you know. Um, so now we gonna harvest her stuff. Um, <laughs> which is kind of funny because I, I never really harvested anything before and then you know, going up to her and telling her, oh, hey, I just harvested some shit. You know, like, it doesn't really make any sense. But we're going to harvest some of these things and try to sell them. I don't know um, what's going on because they're, like, running into the house. They just, like, both of them just, like, ran into the house. I have no idea why they ran, but they did. And there's some guy... He just ran up the side of the hill there as well. Don't know what he just ran up there to do. I just seen him run up there. Um, but I'm not too sure what exactly he went up there to do. I did make some changes to the reshade. But for some reason, it just seems as though the reshade um, changes that I made didn't seem to stick. But I did make some changes. I do wish that I could change up the fog that is around here because Riften is such a beautiful place but in this mod pack it kind of makes it seem very gloomy um and in other mod packs it just looks absolutely stunning and beautiful with all these orangey trees that I really do like the orangey aspect because it gives it a little bit of a change but I guess if with the seasonal mod and adding it into version 5 of the pack we should see some changes. I also added some extra small mods to this. So as you can see, these people have laundry hanging around. So this is immersive laundry. So there's um people who have laundry hanging around and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and harvest everything that's in this garden. And then we can try to go back into Rift and Market and sell it to someone, anyone who is willing to buy you know, so let's go ahead and harvest this cabbage. I'm not going to take every single thing because uh, that would be very greedy and it doesn't belong to me. So let me just hop over here. And uh, we are on the docks. This deer just ran underwater to its death. Interesting. Got a wooden bowl. This crate is empty. Uh, what? Salt pile and a bunch of different fish. Wooden bowls and stuff. Oh, okay, so this just just like a bunch of little clothes iron. 
wooden plate, tomatoes. Okay, so these little things at the corner of the just yeah, seem to have stuff in them. So, like for instance, this has salt, salt pile. Can we jump over here or no? There we go. So we're gonna just kind of um, do a little quick speed run to sell this stuff here that we found. What is a hiss carp? Don't know, that's a bait bag, but I found some stuff in this. Um, so we're gonna grab all of this stuff that we find. The faster we can sell it all off, the better. Saltress. Salt pile, raw salmon filet, raw clams. We are finding a good amount of stuff here that we can eventually sell to someone and make a profit. I know there's a guy that sells fish just at the bottom here, and I'm sure I could get a pretty penny from him for selling some of these things. Um, Hopefully no one's watching. Leaks. Not really anything of interest to me. Wait, hold on. I saw something under here. Was that a chest? Oh, it's just a crate. There's a bucket, salt pile, and some fish inside there. Okay, so this was where the guy sold the fish. Sells the fish. Um, So we have this lady here. Um, maybe you should look for work instead of begging for coin. I didn't even ask you for anything, shorty. You disrespectful. I will punch you in your goddamn face. I did not ask you for anything. I didn't ask you for shit. What have you got for sale? I didn't even ask her for anything. She's already coming down here assaulting me. And like, child. Wait, a lot of these things don't even cost shit. At least I can say we are making a little bit of money. We have two forty nine. Let's see how much we gonna make at the end of this. No, I sold my fucking water skins. I needed those. You only have two gold left. Well, no, I'm not gonna sell my shit to you. You only got two gold. I have five hundred and twenty nine septims now. You guys, right. okay. Talk about talk about begging. I didn't beg for that shit. I didn't beg for that. I didn't beg. I went and did that shit on my own. You talking about? Let's go ahead and get these turnips. Get these red apples right here. We're gonna try not to steal anything. We wanna see if we can make the money. You know, I wanna see like how the little business is in this area. How business is in this area. Can we make a profit? I've never even been to the back here. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. You gonna go over there and get another 500? What you say? What you say? What do you say? What do you mean? Oh, oh. Who sleeps here? Okay, we're going to take a little look around. I don't see anybody here. So. That man is just sitting there. Hopefully he didn't see all the shit that we just stole. Wilvar's house. So we have some houses on the back here. In the normal um thing, you wouldn't really find draw knife. What is a draw knife? Steel broken steel battle axe. Buy saw. Take draw knife. It says take, right? So they shouldn't they shouldn't think I'm stealing it. I didn't realize there were more houses out here. Fortis and Parnava's house. And then we also got some people over here selling stuff, which looks interesting. We got some other stuff out here. Fill bottles from 
mead barrel. I wonder if I fill up some bottles, how many of those do I get? Do I just get one? Fill bottles from mead barrel. Do you just get one? I don't know how many of them I'm going to get. But um, like I said, we're trying to do this the right way. We're not trying to just go around stealing too much. But um, I did steal a whole bunch of shit. So I'm not going to sit here and act like, girl, girl. Now don't sit here and act like you a saint. When you just... When you just went and stole a whole bunch of shit. So... We are going to need to buy some kind of weapon, something that we can use to get out of Riften um, and kind of protect ourselves. And then also I want to kind of have someone kind of come along with us on the journey because we ain't going to be doing this by ourselves. Like we need somebody to come along. Uh, let's go down to this guy that sells the fish. There's also other people here. Oh, I thought that cow was going to jump over the moon. <sighs> there's someone left arrows here and that would be perfect for me to steal but there's too many fucking eyes around here so I'm not gonna take that cause there's too many eyes and I'm not in the mood to be paying no kind of fines cause that's what we don't have um you not working? Mm -hmm. damn I was coming to sell you some shit you not working Oh, oh, it's the wrong guy. It's the wrong guy. The right one right back here. Hello, hello. I'm not trying to steal anything. Did, did you just knock your shit off the shelf? Come here. What you got for sale? You, you, you got any money? You got money? Boy, you broke. You ain't got no money. You trying to come up to me? You ain't got no money. You broke. Get out of my face. Broke, bitch. Let's see if we can go into the city and sell some of the stuff that we got here. Because the faster we can sell some stuff, lady, get out my way. You... Girl, get out my face. You just accused me of begging. I didn't even ask you for anything. You just want to be seen. My food is a... What have you got for sale? Let me see what I can sell you. I'm going to hold on to some of this. Um, I'm going to sell you some cabbages, though. Yes, baby. I'm going to sell you that half a cabbage. This carp. These dried salmon, this cheese, which I think maybe I'm going to hold on to the cheese, right? Because um, in the fondue, maybe I'll hold on to the fondue and the farm bread. Frost Miriam, I'll send you that. Nord Mead, I'll sell you those. These things don't really make a lot of money, y'all, but um, every damn penny counts. Every last penny counts we gotta make the most of every situation so she ain't got no money we have 619 619 keep your belly full and your shoulders strong thank you sir what have you got for sale sir i want to know show me what you got he got a hunting bow um kind of right now we're not looking for a hunting bow because we kind of need a a sword. Iron Sword of Death's Door. Reduces targets with 5% or less remaining health. That's not going to do anything for me right now. Target burns for 1 point per second until combat ends. This costs 393 Let's get that. Let's get that. That's definitely something that we could use. Let's also get the pickaxe because I feel like with the pickaxe we might find some, um, some stuff that we can use. Now we have steel boots, steel gauntlets, um, and I did see that we ha we took up some stuff. So let me just kind of go into items. We did take some stuff from these people when we were over there. So fur helmet, leather bracers, minor clothes. Um, so I guess this makes us a little bit warmer. Let's add the leather bracers. Let's add the fur helmet. Um, and then we have a silver ring, which I'm thinking there's a guy here that sells jewelry. And if I can just like sell this ring to him, um, what have you got for sale? And for me, I'm selling this to him. Oh my God. It doesn't look like we got any extra money from him. 
Uh, let's see what else this guy has that we can, um, no, I didn't want to use your, um, thing, Balamant. I'm sorry. Let's see what you, what else you got for sale. We have 264 septums. Um, now we can buy some steel boots. These cost 179. That leaves us with 85. So we have some boots. Which we're going to put on. Uh, so that that offers us a little bit of armor. Not too much. And then for this we have our iron sword of smoldering. So we have a little bit of armor. We don't have much armor. But we have a little something something on us. To keep us a little warm. Y'all don't judge her. She's looking really not the best thing right now. But um. The good thing is we have a couple of things on us that can kind of help us out. Now, we have a few coins to our name, y'all. So what I am going to do, thank you for pushing me back here. What I'm going to do is we're going to try and see if we can go out the gate. That guy's voice is so annoying. So nasty and annoying. We're going to we're going to take the cart all the way down to white run because uh the enemies down there are a lot easier to fight and um while we're a beggar we don't really have much choice but to beg but you know traveling to a different place will give us some sort of an easier way to get some stuff so we're gonna go down here to white run or um riverwood whichever I'd like to hire your carriage and I would like to go to white run 20 gold to go to white run not bad so we're gonna head out i'm gonna go ahead and use his carriage all right so the first place that she chooses to go is here now we can rent a room for the night because it actually is late um so it stopped us right at this inn here which is perfect so we're gonna kind of head in here hopefully you'll be able to get a little bit of a hot meal as she is quite hungry um so we'll try to get something to eat and we'll also try to see what else we can um what else we can get so right now i'm not truly i'm not seeing the lady that's supposed to be in here So, um, we're gonna, we bought a piece of bread, which, uh, we shouldn't have bought that bread because honestly, when did we steal back bar meat? Don't know when we did that, but, um, we're going to, it's fondue. It says Val 224. Does Val mean the value of it? How much it costs? But if we sell it to people, or am I selling it, selling stuff to the wrong people? So I'm going to have her eat this bread. And, um, this sweet roll that she stole. And, uh,. I'm not really seeing the woman that is supposed to be in here. I guess she's already sleeping. Um, so, and that doesn't mean that we get to sleep on this bed, no. We can't sleep on the bed. So, I guess the inn is closed. Because I'm not seeing the lady who should be here. What is it? Dragon? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Okay, so basically she was asleep. Um, but she's about to go show us to the room, which is up here. And we're going to kind of spend the night here. And then tomorrow, you guys, the real deal begins. The real stuff begins when we go in to getting stuff sorted getting money trying to kill some animals and do some serious damage so we're definitely going to be doing that tomorrow exploring white run and seeing what's there for us so it's actually 6 a.m so we're gonna sleep and um i think i'm gonna end off this episode right here 
Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a difficult situation, you know, with us trying to get ourselves situated and also with us trying to get money and so on. So we're definitely going to have to work hard and try to find some great ways that we can make some money selling some pelts and stuff like that. So we're definitely going to be using Hunter Born because we really want to get the pelts and learn how to make, um, to get them at good quality and stuff like that. So Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end off this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out the channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you guys liked this video, consider subscribing. It really helped me out. And it is a little bit of my motivation to keep me going and keep me, you know, sustained. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.